Now, during President Park's time in Ulaanbaatar, a bilateral summit will also be held between South Korea and Mongolia. President Park is the fourth South Korean head of state to visit Mongolia since diplomatic ties were established 26 years ago. Our Kwon Jang-ho takes a look at how that has grown over the years. South Korea and Mongolia share a historical relationship that goes back hundreds of years, from the peaceful to the hostile. The modern diplomatic ties were only established between the two countries in 1990 after Mongolia discarded post-war Soviet socialism and became a democratic nation. Since then, relations have flourished. There are some 30,000 Mongolians living in South Korea and conversely, over 2,700 long-term South Korean residents in Mongolia. The trade volume between the two countries is now at around 300 million U.S. dollars, and Seoul is Ulaanbaatar's fourth-largest trading partner, as well as its third-largest aid donor. Mongolia has become a hot tourist location for Koreans as well, with 47,000 visiting the country last year, and about 6,000 Mongolians making the reverse trip. The standing between the two countries' relations, both figuratively and geographically, has been North Korea. Post-World War II, Mongolia established itself as a socialist nation and was one of North Korea's firmest allies. They provided food supplies to the regime during the Korean War, and North Korea's founder Kim Il-sung visited Mongolia twice during the Soviet era. In recent years, Mongolia has tried to maintain a balancing act to keep friendly relations with both Koreas. Mongolia has strongly condemned North Korea's development of nuclear weapons in the past, but at the same time, President El Bedoj was one of the first international leaders to visit Pyongyang in 2013, after Kim Jong-un came to power. During this latest bilateral summit, President Park would be looking to step up Seoul's relationship with Ulaanbaatar and have Mongolia help to put further pressure on Pyongyang to give up its nuclear weapons. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.